Hi and welcome to Easy Fishing. This is part two of how to set up a float rig. For this part I'm going to be using a waggler float and I'm going to use two types. One loaded waggler with a weight built in and one without. What do we need? Swivel float adapters for one type and some gripper stops for the others. So we'll tackle the unloaded float. Uh, just for illustration purposes, um, I'm going to use a uh, adrenaline puddle chucker. So get your swivel float adapter out, place it on the bottom of the float. Push it all the way home till it's up against the body. Then take your line, thread your line through it. Check on the side of it for the weight capacity. This one takes approximately two and a half AA or two grams. So I would suggest you start off with a AA, a treble A each side of the float. Two treble A's. This time, pinch one on each side of the float adapter. Pinch them on with a small gap in between. That's all you need. You don't need to nip it up tight, just a small gap. Now just drop it in your shopping tube and check for the shotting. Now as you can see here, there's a lot of the float still sticking proud out of the water. So we're going to add another shot. So go back and select a BB. Work it a couple of times to open and close it. Recheck the shotting. Now, we're still quite a lot of the float sticking proud out. So we're going to take that off and substitute a treble A. Retest. Now this time, it's probably would be perfect, but it allows no room for a dropper shot. So we're going to have to do a bit of juggling here. So we'd remove one of the AAs. And bearing in mind what I said about shot weights, Substitute it for one BB and one number one. Now you'll notice that I've put two shots on either side of the float. This means that should one shot slip, it will come up against another one and won't move. Check the depth, check the shotting again. And there we have, that is very nearly perfect, but it's still not right. So we're going to take the number one off and substitute it for a number four. Now this might seem a lot of messing about and fiddle faddling about, but it's important to get the shotting right. Hopefully, rechecking this should be now. That is perfect. It's left just the black band at the base of the float tip visible which allows us room to put a dropper on. Now, normally for wagglers, again, you have two types. The standard type is the bulk, which is the main cocking weight of the float around the base of the float, plus a droppers. One, two, as necessary. I'm going to add two number 10s. Recheck the shotting. Now that, I would say, is about perfect it's got about a centimeter sticking out of the water now to get your shotting in position you leave your bulk round your float and you slide the two droppers down to the either evenly spaced towards the hook length or pull them together to form 
a mini bulk of just two number 10s. But generally speaking, two spaced or three spaced small shot is what you want. Tie your loop in the end of it and the job is finished. So to reiterate, you have the bulk of the weight, which is why it's called the bulk around the base of the float. This enables you to cast accurately and easily. Two above, two below. Reason for that, stop some slipping. Couple of shots spaced out down the line and a loop on the end of the line to attach your hook length as in the stick float video and you're good to go. Now, none of this is set in stone. You might want to on the day split the shotting up some more. You might want to take this number four off, split it for two number sixes, put a number six here and then another number six further down towards the hook to get the bait down through the water quicker. Um, you might want to uh, change it even more. You might want to have three or four number tens or number eights down the line. But that's a good basic waggler shotting pattern. So that's the bulk round the float and a couple of small or three small droppers between the float and the hook. And that's it, simple to go. And here comes Archie, who's decided, is that, is that good Archie? Is that good? Yeah? Is that done, Daddy done that right? Yes? I think that's a yes. Now, once Archie gets down, we'll move on to the next one. 